Connor, I'll ask you, I think, yeah, you're the only Ohio guy up here. Um, this has always been a very big game for you, obviously. Um, your last chance to go in there, obviously a huge game. What, what, what are you, what's going through your mind as you enter into Ohio Stadium for the last time? Yeah, I'm pretty much just to leave it all out there. Um, you know, being from Ohio, um, I have a lot of friends I went to high school with that, that attended the university. They're, they're gone now. They graduated. But, um, and then also just growing up and, and going through the recruiting process, knowing guys from Ohio, um, playing with guys in all-star games that go to Ohio State, guys that I've got a chance to know. So um, really it's just, it's just, you know, like how, you know, the Michigan people describe the Michigan game. Um, this is kind of like that game for me, um, you know, with the guys that we have on our team from Michigan when we play. Um, the University of Michigan. So it's just going to be that much more fun uh, and just provide that much more motivation for me to go out there and leave it all on the line. This is for Shalik and Connor. Connor, we, both of you guys had an opportunity. We've talked to the Big Ten Media Days about those games last year that got away, the Oregon and the Ohio State game, after getting over the hump of the first one. And Coach didn't want to talk about his redemption so much, but how much of a challenge and opportunity are you looking forward to, to completing that task of, of, of kind of getting the redemption, that I guess, from the last year? Yeah. Um, you know, starting with Oregon, you know, one of the main reasons why Shalik and I came back is, you know, we had some unfinished business. We want to, you know, compete for another conference uh, championship, um, compete for uh, another national championship. And, and it all started with, you know, facing Oregon week two. Um, and we got over the hump with that. And, um, you know, losing to Ohio State last year, I think, was a little bit more sickening than losing to Oregon last year just because, you know, they're, they're in our division in our conference and kind of shattered our hopes of going on and playing for the, the Big Ten title game. So, um, you know, we can avenge that loss from last year by, um, you know, taking care of business this week, this weekend, um, and being able to put ourselves in a situation to go on and play for that conference title. So, um, you know, this game, this weekend, this weekend is huge. This game's huge. Um, and it's one of the main reasons why we came back. Uh, I would definitely agree with Connor. You know, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, like you said, a big reason why we came back here. So, uh, not only that, but just to be out there with the guys, you know, to have an, uh, another opportunity to play uh, a big time school uh, in a big time stadium. So, uh, you know, I just agree. I, I, I completely, you know, feel the same exact way. You know, this, these are the opportunities that we 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 really wanted, and and this is this these are those games that we want really wanted to compete in. So, uh, having the opportunity is is great, and, and not many people uh, have the chance to go back and uh, play a team that they've lost. You know, they they had a loss too. So, uh, we're gonna take full heed of it and. Keep moving forward. Jack, um, Coach Antonio talked earlier about winning up front being so important in these games, and that last year they probably that's probably one of the places they won the game. And I know you guys have had a lot of injuries, and running the ball has been a bit of a challenge. Do you think now, with you guys kind of being back together for a couple of games, that that's something that can get better this week? And, and how much of a challenge is it against their defensive line? Um, I would say it's going to be a huge challenge. They a very impressive defensive front, but um, at the same time, I think we're starting to click a little more on the O-line, and we're coming together, and we've gone through a lot of adversity together, and it's just going to be another uh, challenge for us, and we're excited about it. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but to any of you guys, I guess, just throw it out there. I think a couple guys on Saturday were saying they've been kind of taking 20 minutes and peeking at Ohio State film throughout the year and thinking about this game ever since – last year's loss. I mean, how soon or how often did you guys kind of think about this game and start preparing for it over the, you know, the course of the past year? Uh, I mean, you prepare for each and every game going through the, you know, uh, summer conditioning and spring ball and, and, and even through camp, you know, those are, those are your moments where you prepare for the team. And even if it's little bits and pieces, you know, you, you try to better prepare yourself for the, the year to come. So uh, I wouldn't say that they had, you know, our full attention at that moment because we had to focus, you know, on teams each and every week. But, you know, I would say that we did something uh, throughout the course of the year uh, to better ourselves when we face each and every team, be better prepared. I blew that question up just in case you were wondering. Darian, the narrative last year was that Ohio State's offense through the air was what took it to Michigan State. But frankly, once they were able to run is when they were able to have some success. How key is it? Anyway? You talk about every week stopping the running game, but especially with an attack like they have that's based off of the run, how key is stopping Zeke this week? Uh, it's big time, uh, both uh, stopping Elliott, Elliott and Barrett. Uh, they do a great job staying behind their blockers, staying tight to the gaps that they're supposed to hit. Uh, so we got to be incredibly sound in that aspect on defense. 
And I would definitely agree that last year, you know, when, when they were able to establish a run, that's when the pass opened up. You know, we had them on a lot of third down and two, third down and three, you know, a lot of third down and, and short yardage situations. And they were able to just kind of muscle it forward uh, for the first down, whether it was with Barrett uh, keeping the ball or handing it off to, to Ezekiel. So, um, you know, they, they pride themselves on being able to pound the ball up front, and we pride ourselves on our front seven as well. Uh, so I'm expecting a really good battle on Saturday. Shalik, uh, a question, please. Uh, after your decision last year, which, of course, was momentous for you and really for your team, can you take us through a little of the chronology of maybe at one point how close you were to going the other way? Can, can you give us a sense of the timeline there where your thoughts and emotions uh, seem to uh, take form and shape? Uh, kind of like I said, you know, last year, I, I had this in my I had an idea that I was coming back, you know, uh, pretty much in the bowl game. You know, I knew that this was an opportunity that uh, not many people have the chance to, you know, I have so you know, and then not only that, but just being in the moment, you know, living in that moment, having an opportunity to just be out there with uh, so many great people, uh, and then being in such a great atmosphere, it was. I mean, it was pretty amazing. And uh, I, I mean, I tapped, I tapped my D tackle Joel, and and I don't know if he was fully focused on what I was trying to tell him, but uh, I knew at that moment I was coming back. But I also wanted to weigh weigh, the, weigh my options, you know, because uh, it is a great opportunity to make it into the NFL, you know, and. Uh, not many people, even fewer people have that opportunity. So uh, I did weigh it out, but, you know, I knew that this is the place I wanted to be, and I, I wanted another opportunity to play against big-time teams and uh, really showcase my talents and show what our team has because I know I know our makeup and I know uh, how great of players we have here and I know how far we can go. Darren, you talked a little bit last week about having that comfort level with the guys behind you that you've played with a lot. and. It looks like you're going to go with the start. A little bit more experienced starting group back there with Cox back at safety and Darian back in. Is that key for a game like this, having experienced guys like that that you maybe feel like you don't, you have that communication a little bit better with? Yeah, I definitely think that's key, but I also think it's key to, to roll with the guys that have been playing well. And um, the combination we saw at the end of the game last week, uh, was they were really successful out there and, and they played extremely well. Uh, but I think everybody in the, in the back, uh, back end played extremely well last week and, and you know we challenged them as a defense to, to come out and just play with confidence uh play loose you know have fun out there don't think too much and make plays and they were able to do that and it was really comforting for us as an entire team to see you know how they've been able to bat, bounce back uh despite everything that's been said about them so i was extremely proud of everybody that was able to get on the field last week in the secondary and play and i think we're, we're going to need we're still going to need a rotation this week i mean we need a rotation every week um you know Ohio State likes to run a lot of deep patterns and, and, and throw deep balls up there. So um, when you got corners that have to cover, you know, a 40, 50 yard route and then run back, you're going to need subs at all times. And the fact that guys were able to step up last week and make a ton of plays, um, grabbing a lot of interceptions, you know, last week with, with Arjun and Monte, you know, it was, it was really good to see. And I think it's going to spill uh, in a good, in a positive way for us this week. For uh, Connor, um, based on, some of the close games you guys have played and the way Ohio State is seemingly getting it rolling. Uh, looking at the point spread, it's like 13 points. And also based on your injury situation, whatever it is or isn't, not too many people seem to be giving you guys a shot in this game. Um, do you like that, not like it? Is that fair or unfair? Uh, you know, same story, different week. Um, you know, no one really ever gives us any of the, the kind of respect that we deserve, that we think we need. Um, just another reason why, you know, we've said it, you know, thousands and thousands of times, it seems like, you know, the, the chip on your shoulder. Um, so um, just provides more motivation to us. Um, you know, my shoulder's good. I'm going to be ready to go. Um, so there's no no issue with that. But, um, I mean, it's just, like I said, same story, different week. You know, people just not giving us the respect. We like being in the situation that we're in. Um, you know, we like being the underdog um, because, you know, majority of the time we come out on top. So um, we're going to embrace it, and uh, we'll be ready to go, that's for sure. <laughs> you no, know, but you have a big smile on your face in that hearing the, the, the question and the answer. You've gotten so accustomed to this, to hearing I, that same story. I just think he answered it very well. <laughs> Jack, let's go to you. Are you insulted to be a 13-point underdog in this game? Um, I don't know. We're used to it around here, and it's nothing new, so... 
Exactly what Connor said, really. <laughs> There's nothing that's changed. Every big game that we're in, we're always expected to lose, and I feel like we surprise a lot of people and make a lot of people look foolish. I'm wondering if you kind of like that role. I do. Um, I don't know. Being the underdog is always fun, and usually when I watch sports or watch any sport-related activity, I always root for the underdog, for someone that nobody's expecting them to win. So, Connor, have you thrown much since Saturday? And will you, I mean, obviously you're not going to have any contact this week. Will your shoulder <laughs> be up for this? Uh, yeah, just got to take it day by day. Um, just go out there and see how it feels and, and just go from there. Can I just a follow up, Connor? When could you mentioned, you know, people not giving you guys respect, I think a lot of that is tied to your shoulder, whatever is there. Do you, do you do you get that 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 maybe if you were one hundred percent completely healthy, maybe it would be a different different story. Do you buy that? I really could care less about that question or that whole thing. So um, we're a thirteen point underdog. Um, anyway, you cut it. So that's that. Along those lines, with being the underdog, you guys are five and one in your last, however many games, six, I guess the math would be against uh, top ten teams. Why is that? Is it because you feed off that, or what is it about you guys? Obviously, everybody gets up for big games, but why have you guys been able to come out on top almost every time? Uh, I would say it's a combination. It's a combination of coaching and players doing their job. You know, you. Uh, we go out there, compete at a high level. We do the best that we can uh, each and every game. And, uh, I mean, that's all Coach asks of us. And I think with that being said, that's that's produced, you know, winning games for us because we understand that we're going to keep competing until uh, there's no more time left on the clock. And I think that offensively, defensively, and even on our special teams, uh, we compete. We compete day in and day out. And, and, you know, it's not only in games. We do that in practice also. So uh, it puts us in a great situation where we can uh, have a better outcome and our team could be better successful. Coach D called you guys young people resilient after the loss from the Nebraska game that you guys bounced back maybe quicker than the coaches do. But did that, did that loss help you at all refocus your goals and maybe regalvanize when you – have something taken away and you still have you know everything in your favor if you go out and do what you need to do I think it puts things into perspective and it helps you you understand that you know the game of football can be it is a winner win or lose you know and it can happen any any given day uh but uh, our goals are still ahead of us. You know, we understand that, and we understand that. You know, keep if we keep competing at a high level and we keep winning, uh, things will come out in our favor. You know, and, and, and one loss won't make or break your season. So, uh, the biggest thing is, like I said, being resilient and just bouncing back and understanding that uh, there's a lot of it's still uh, more football to be played. And you know, if, if, if things roll our way, we'll be in a great situation. You know, we're not going to let one loss uh, kill our season and and just uh, have us go out the rest of the games and just say, let's just lose. You know, I mean, it's over now. You know, I think we have that uh, mindset to where we understand that uh, if we keep playing and we keep doing what we're supposed to do and that supposed to be doing, then uh, things will pan out in a way that is in our favor. Gary, and or any of you since you're upperclassmen, what's the horse you like to play in? And do you kind of like snake pits to go into to play in? Um, I've actually never been there. Um, you know, we went our, our race year year, so um, I believe uh, Shalik traveled there and uh, yeah. Joe, who's in the house today, traveled there as well as an Ohio guy. Um, but, you know, one thing I, I do know is that we played in, in every Big Ten stadium. We played in extremely tough environments. Uh, now that the younger guys have been to a place like Nebraska, been to a place like, like Michigan and played in a big house and, and know how it is in an environment like that, I don't think there's anything that they can't they can't take and they can't, um, you know, compete in and, and play to a high level in. So um, it just comes to a matter of this will be a new experience for all of us. You know, we take the challenges as, as more fun times for us, and we're already looking forward to it. No, I haven't played there either. <laughs> no, I didn't travel to that game. Oh, my bad, bro. It's Taiwan right. Jones might have gotten in on yeah. that, but he's not here. So. <laughs> <laughs> he is only, only one in our class who played there. 